a yeah, big question there uh, to Anthony Joshua. Are you up for the challenge? Um, that's coming from Deontay Wilder. And yeah, I mean, I don't know if you're Anthony Joshua and you're watching, um, you know, uh, that footage uh, this morning, uh, what your reaction will be, especially with the soundtrack uh, being uh, in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't know. I'm, I, let me uh, come at it in two, three ways. Yeah. If I'm his promoter, I want AJ to remain champion. Right. And that, that probably means... He's going to fight Wilder, not now. Not now, okay. So I'm going to milk that, that as belt much as, as much as I can. Get a lot of money. And if I'm going to fight Deontay, mm. there's going to be a rematch clause. Right. And I'm going to get more. Right. Because AJ is popular now. A lot of he people. Is a goal and goal. that's what Wilder has been complaining about, you know, the money and, and all that. But if, as a boxing fan, I would love to see this bout yes, yesterday. Right. So right. Uh, it, it depends. Uh, from, from the AJ camp, a lot of people are having, you know, goose pimples right now. You look at, the, this guy doesn't fear anybody. Yes. He's, I mean, he said it. He said he's ready to fight Dillian White. Yeah, as, as long, long as, as you guarantee. Afterwards. And at the end, you right. know, he said, look, why are you offering me Dillian White? <laughs> okay, you want me to fight Dillian? I'll go for Dillian. Yeah. Just ensure show that AJ is He's next. next and put it, put it in the paper for mm. me. Interesting. Uh, we'll keep monitoring uh, that situation. Hopefully, uh, both uh, parties can actually agree to a deal uh, for that unification bout sometime in 2018. We're still talking boxing. And um, Joseph Parker, the WBO heavyweight champion of the world, has been flying under the radar a bit. Uh, the talk has been all about uh, Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. But we have another champion who is not as popular. Yep as is uh, two other guys, uh, and that's Joseph Parker. And um, his promoter is, 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 is come out to say they're actually discussing taking on Anthony Joshua early in 2018. So Anthony Joshua right now is the golden goose, is the most popular uh, heavyweight uh, boxer out there, and everyone wants a piece of him. And I'm not surprised that um, Joseph Parker and his team are going for him as well. I think the boxing fans in England would um, we'll want to see uh, British boxers take on themselves, see stadiums packed and all that. And that's why I feel AJ's next fight would probably not be Deontay. Uh, I don't think so. It's not uh, be, yeah. you know, Very unlikely. You know, Parker, Parker's promoter already telling us, like, this looks good. Yes. It looks good on paper. AJ wants it. Parker wants it. And if both fighters want it, and if you're Eddie here, you're like, well, this is a winnable bout. Mm. So let me go. <laughs> let's, <laughs> this one let's do this one first. Get, get yes. some uh, conf confidence right. and, and get some money uh, as well. Thrill the British fans Correct. as well. Do all of that with just one bout. And, and if Deontay comes... Uh, we'll see what uh, happens. Uh, you're spot on. I mean, I think it's going to be just that way. Uh, barring any, uh, you know, breakdown in negotiations, I think uh, it's going to be AJ uh, taking on Joseph Parker, first of all. Then um, afterwards, then they can start thinking about Deontay Wilder. All right. So uh, let's listen to um, Parker's promoter, uh, what he has to say, just uh, for you to know uh, what we're talking about. He says both fighters want that bow. So Deontay, you probably have to wait some more. We were initially hoping to get a fight out in December, but it's all about doing the right fight at the right time for the right money, and you don't want to trifle with that world title when you've done so much to earn it. Eddie Hearn and I started gently exchanging emails uh, uh, you know, a week ago or whatever, and, um, and then we sort of agreed a couple of days ago. He said, you know, he'll go to, I said, go to talk to Anthony. He said, he'll talk to Anthony Joshua. I said, I'll talk to Joseph Parker. So we both sort of connected again yesterday, and, and my message was Parker would fight Joshua next, and, and uh, Hearn's message was Anthony Joshua would fight Parker next. So it's really down to a question of the deal and money. And um oh, that's uh, just Parker's uh, promoter, um, what he has to say, uh, telling us that the bouts uh, might, might just happen. We'll cross our fingers and wait and fingers see what crossed. happens. Fingers crossed. And yes, we'll probably leave boxing now. Uh, so we have three champions. Um, the WBC champion, Deontay Wilder. We have the WBO champion, Joseph Parker. And Anthony Joshua, who is the WBA Super and IBF champion. Who will, we, who will unify the division? That's the heavyweight division. Uh, only time we'll tell. We'll find out in 2018. Let's quickly move on from boxing to the NBA National Basketball Association, where... Um, um, a lot of games uh, went down, but some very uh, interesting uh, matchups to run through uh, quickly. We start off with the matchup between the Clippers and the San Antonio Spurs. They ended 120-107 in favor of the Spurs. Lamarca, uh, Lamarcus Aldridge scoring 25 points. Elsewhere, the Knicks defeated the Hornets by 118 to 113 
Christophs Porzingis scoring 28 points in that victory. We also saw the Denver Nuggets and defeat the Brooklyn Nets 112-104. Nikola Jokic scoring a career high 41 points in that victory uh, for the Nuggets. The Blazers lost by a single point against the Memphis Grizzlies. Um, 97 98 Tyreek Evans had 21 points off the bench. Last but not the least, the matchup of the mm -hmm. of the night was uh, between the Bucks and the Cavaliers. That one ended 124 119 in favor of the Cavs. Uh, Kevin Love scoring a, a season high uh, 32 two points, points uh, in that particular victory. But this matchup was actually uh, between LeBron James and Yanis Adetokounmpo. LeBron is, a, is an all-time great already. Mm -hmm. Yann is being said to be an all-time great. And they went head to head yesterday, and you have to see those numbers, Yanni. Uh, very close. Very, very close. Uh, very interesting. A lot of prospects uh, for Gianni. Gianni, uh, yeah. A lot of prospects. That's why a lot of people see him um, as a man for the future. I absolutely see the plan. LeBron, 37 minutes, uh, 40 minutes for Gianni. Um, I did talk about 30 points for LeBron, 40 for uh, Gianni. Um, 16 of 21 from the field uh, for Gianni. He basically almost won all the individual you know, battles, but he lost the war because his team yeah. lost the match mm -hmm. on the night. Yeah. So uh, better luck next time to Gianni uh, at the Tokumbo. That's it for the NBA. We're moving on from the NBA courts on to the tennis courts and Andy Murray is back. Okay, it's not exactly back, right? Yeah, not exactly. Not exactly back. Uh, <laughs> he wants to be 100% fit. Yeah. yeah that, that's it. So um, let's just listen to Andy Murray um, quickly. Uh, what's been saying, um, I want to prepare for 2018. You know, I've been training for, for a few weeks now. Um, you know, some days I felt great, some days, you know, not, not so good. Um, but uh, I'm getting there and you know I'll come back when, when I'm ready and like Roger said when I'm 100% fit I made you know probably a bit of a mistake trying to get ready for the US Open but it was the last major of the year and I wanted to, to give it a go um, and now it's you know time to you know give, give my body the, the rest and recovery that it needs and um, I'll, I'll come back when, when I'm ready. You know you, you, ne you never know um, when you're coming back from, from any injury but you know that's what I'm I'm working towards um, for sure, um, but yeah, we we have to see. I I believe that'll be the case when I get back on the court next year and start playing again. It might not come, you know, immediately at the beginning of the year. I might not play my best tennis straight off the the bat, but.